Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I have another film review today and it is the movie Awakening the Zodiac. Um, now this is a director DVD release. Um, it's not been released at the cinema. But when I saw this, um, it got my interest up because um, I'm a fan of serial killer type movies. I love things like Seven and, and, and movies like that. And because it had a like a link into what an obviously real life serial killer, the Zodiac, um, I thought it would be interesting. But then I watched it, <laughs> um, and it kind of all fell apart. But we'll get on to that. So, Awakening the Zodiac, really, it's a story about a married couple um, and the guy. It's Shane West, the actor. Um, it's called Mike, I think, the character. And you might recognise him. The last thing you may have seen him in, of a note really, was The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. The film that bombed with Sean Connery. Um, so he plays a guy called Mike in this movie and he's married. And they're living in a trailer, they're really down on the look, they've no money. And what he does with his friend who's played by Matt Craven, is they bid on storage lockers, a bit like storage hunters. Uh, they bid on storage lockers, and sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. And they end up bidding on this storage locker, and initially they think it's full of junk. But they soon learn that actually in that storage locker is a lot of old video um, footage of the Zodiac killings, and it turns out that he actually recorded himself when he did his killings in the 60s and 70s um, and they decide when they look when they research it that there's a hundred thousand pound bounty to any information or evidence that can lead to the arrest of the Zodiac killer because he was never found and they do a bit of digging around because they think like they need to find out who owned that storage locker um, and who the Zodiac killer is so that they can make it easy for the police so that they can all get the money um, and that turns out to be a mistake because, hence the title, They Awaken the Zodiac. Um, and that's all I'm really going to say on the story. There's not really much else to say, to be honest, to spoil it, because you can kind of guess where this film's going. Um, it doesn't really hide it. Now, I'll, I'll get the positives out of the way first, because, unfortunately, there's not many. Um, so, it is an half-decent idea, this. Um, the, so the film starts off with a, a decent concept. Uh, it, the movie looks okay. It's shot okay. It doesn't look cheap or anything. It's not like B-movie cheap. Um, and for the most part, the acting is, is of a decent quality because they've got um, some areas of the cast, quite an impressive cast, um, with some good experience. And occasionally it does build tension okay in the movie but that's those are the positives really the negatives really are much more <laughs> wider variety of um, negatives really so the first thing is the characters are just stupid completely stupid and they follow the old cliches that you see in all the movies that try good movies try and avoid these days like checking noises in the dark they do all that in this movie um, there's even a scene where um, Mike, the main character, they're outside a storage locker at night and they think they're being followed by somebody and he wants to go and confront this guy even though they know they're kind of chasing the Zodiac killer. He thinks he's going to square up and go after this guy. And it's just it's ridiculous, stupid stuff like that. Um, they break into homes constantly, um, which is bizarre um, they're just a normal couple and they just decide that it's a good idea to break into homes to find evidence and stuff it's, it's just stupid really um, there's a scene where the wife is just she she plays the blonde dumb, dumb blonde um, to perfection, uh, she just doesn't understand what a cipher is. The guy's trying to explain what a cipher is, and she literally says, "I don't understand." Four times, and it's like, Jesus, really? Um, there's typical dark cellars with flicking lights, even though this is in the basement of a modern library. 
In fact, there's flicking lights everywhere. Um, you even get jump scares in this movie. I mean, there's just so much about the film that just niggles you and gets on your nerves. I mean, this guy, the Zodiac Killer, is supposed to be a genius. Okay, well, why would he, in the first place, put incriminating evidence in a damn storage locker? Um, evidence that could get him found at last. I mean, I'm sure after storage hunters, there's people rob these things constantly in America because they think they're full of treasure. So why why would he do that in the first place? So that doesn't make sense for a start. Um, the wife in this movie, she just, she just constantly got on my nerves because she just kept making stupid decisions. There's a scene near the end where she decides to chase this guy in a van. Um, but even though her husband's upstairs, she runs off, gets in his car and chases him. Um, the husband's trying, she's trying to phone her. She answers and says, oh, I'm just chasing him. You come get me. Drop puts her phone down, doesn't tell him, doesn't tell her husband where she's going and will won't, const won't answer her phone anymore. Um, it's just not what people would do. And then there's the ending. Um, it kind of gives you an half decent ending to start with. Uh, well, it gives you, it gives you kind of closure and then it does some kind of stupid twist at the end that just it just annoyed you even more. It, I don't know what the point of it was because it was not a twist at all and it wasn't intelligent or clever, the twist at all. In fact, it made no sense at all. It just left you annoyed. So I can't honestly recommend this movie because it isn't a very good movie. Um, but it's not a badly made movie. It's just a poorly executed movie. Uh, so unfortunately, this isn't great.